is the leader of a nomadic um, group, a tribe. Um, and I think a lot of people look at, when they, I've read the book and followed the book, and I think it's wonderful that we've been quite close to the book with this film. Uh, and little hints are made here and there. And that's basically how I, together with the director, create a character. I don't like describing it as magic. I think magic is a, a simple term. It's extraordinary, um, an extraordinary gift. And it shows itself in different ways. Um, the younger they are, the stronger this power is. And my character rose together with the true knot, my gang, um, feed on their shine. The power, once going into a meditative state for Rose, she floats into the mind to seek and find, find the, the shine, basically. And Abra happens to sit on the most incredible source of power that she has ever met before, probably equal to her own. And I think when we meet something that is so threatening, it becomes a challenge and something you want to win over. Um, and the question that is actually asked by Crow, do we turn her or do we kill her? The realization that we obviously don't have to do neither one of them, because if we turn her, I will have someone equally as powerful as myself in the group, and that, that is not a good thing. And killing her off straight away is just not, just not sufficient enough. It doesn't, it doesn't give enough. Kylie has this incredible strength of gaining power. I remember a scene we did, we have just this standoff on the street, and she's supposed to walk straight through my character and be a little bit cocky. And I thought, you know, child actor, you know, let's see what you, let's see what you can bring. And she met me with such power that I went up to the director afterwards and I said, I kind of want to do it again because I feel completely lost of all power. I have no power left. I felt really silly in this scene. And he said, good, then we got it. And I thought, well done. She made me feel very belittled. I think it's a great choice uh, for, for them to put Ewan in this role because he is so bloody versatile in his acting. He has, he has that little shimmer in his eye. He's, he's fun, he's quirky, he's, he's, he's a weirdo uh, and yet he has such depth and darkness in him um, which is needed for this character. True knot is what's tied can never be untied. So it's a knot, basically. And if you are turned and give your devotion to us, um, it's kind of like the musketeers, isn't it? All for one and one for all mentality. And also, once you're turned, this is it. This is what you'll have forever. Live well, live long, eat well, stay young, basically. I want to be Mike's muse. I want to work with him again and again and again. And I know we shouldn't, and it's silly because we need to move on. And I am actually so lucky with the directors I've worked with. Mike has, Mike has a book. Mike introduced me to this book, which is basically all of his shots. He's that bloody prepared that he knows the angles, he knows the shots, he knows what he needs for editorial purpose. Now, this might scare some people and actors because you think, well then, what am I doing here? Where is my creative aspect in it? That has nothing to do with it. He showed me this book and said, you can look at it or not, don't worry. On set, I will ask him what he needs from the scene, and then we just play. So not only does he have his editorial cap on, we have the producer, we have director Mike, but he also has the openness to let us create and create something together for the character. Hi guys, did you know that when the 2017 version of the horror film It was in the works, the Duffer brothers were interested in directing it, but they were completely overlooked by everybody because they weren't well known and established in the industry. They then went on to creating the multi-million dollar worth saga of Stranger Things. Remember to click below to subscribe on the side for more great content.